Hey there viewers, my name is Trinsky and welcome back to another Wednesday stream. Today we're going to be jumping back into what's becoming the usual here, playing a bit more of the Super Auto Pets expansion, seeing if maybe this time we can get that 10 win. We got so close at the end of last week, but I feel like we can get it today. Just need to, to power up a yak since that's apparently becoming my spirit animal within the game. We'll see what else we can get, maybe try some new strategies. Who's to say? We'll just have to jump into it here and have some fun. I'm a little bit in a, a scattered space right now. I pretty much just got home from work, spent some time with the doggo, and then got ready to pop on here. Oh, definitely poured myself a drink too. In fact, let's let's enjoy a quick, quick sip before we hop in here, shall we? Okie dokie. Without further ado, Let's hop into it, shall we? See if I remember anything. I mean, Iguan and Seahorse is our starting pair here. I can dig that. I'm definitely down with that sickness. And, oof, that's a shame. I was hoping that we'd get one more, but hey, that is all good. Do I want to try some, some silly frog strats? Alternatively, we could freeze this and take a Kiwi. In fact, let's go with the Kiwi, shall we? That seems like a pretty solid starting team here. Some good potential for the future as well. And we get Withering, Underwater, Spotted, Celebrities, Scallywags, and Dumplings. I mean, we talked about a decent amount last week. You live and die by the alliteration. Or at least I do. So we'll probably go with some Spotted Scallywags. That's not too bad. Just double check real quick. Is there anything else that trumps that? Is there any perfect pairing? Withering celebrities, withering dumplings, withering scallywags. No, let's, alliteration is king in these parts. Let's go nuts, shall we? Here we go. First, first run of the day. Let's, let's make it count, shall we? Here's an underwater celebrity, uh, Aquaman. That's definitely one. I'm sure there are literally dozens of them. <laughs> Never forget. Was Abe Sapien underwater for some reason? I feel like I feel like Abe Sapien was underwater, right? Because both in that and in The Shape of Water? Was that the Guillermo del Toro movie? It was the the same actor in both of those playing the uh the underwater heavy prothesis roles I'm trying to it's doug jones or something like that right the incredible actor who plays all of those monsters especially with guillermo de toro i'm pretty sure guillermo de toro loves doug jones if i'm getting that name right but okie dokie let's start thinking here we can probably afford to put down a strawberry maybe we'll take a mouse as a temporary if nothing else good comes up here but i'm hoping hummingbird Heck yeah, bud. Let's bring you out. Throw you there. And then we can sell our Kiwi next turn. I think I'm down to keep a Seahorse around. Pretty decent base stats. I mean, there's a reason why in the original pack, back in the day, everyone took fish pretty much every time just for the stat line, even though their ability wasn't too great. We'll make it work. Oh, and oh my gosh. What even happened with that double frog? I feel like stats were... Flying all over the place there. Unfortunately, not quite enough for the hot clementines to, to pull through with an early lead here. What else have we got? Pug, start of battle, give experience. Could be alright. It was well in tuned with the hummingbird, but maybe instead we go for an early jellyfish, try and get the iguana to pop here. You know what? Let's just fly by the seat of our pants for now, shall we? Throw this bad boy in there, see what happens. Make my day. I mean, I did talk talk up the yak here. Maybe save one peach. Yaks love peaches. Almost as much as broccoli. And one more iguana, please. That's cool, too. It is what it is. Do I really want to combine my iguanas? It's kind of nice getting that two damage with our seahorse. 
but it's probably worth it just to get the yak starting to scale as early as we possibly can here. I think we'll throw you behind. Next question becomes, do I buy the yak? No, I think I invest in our yak's future instead. Put away a bit of a college fund for the old yak attack here. And we'll give it a shot, see what happens. What have we got here? Bunch of frog builds. Is frog the new thing? Is frog the new hotness? Am I missing missing something here? I'd say apparently not, but hey. It is what it is. How's the new job? It is going fantastic. I'm definitely less exhausted than I thought I'd be, even though I'm still running high off my coffee from the day here. So maybe as soon as that wears off, I'll be passing right out. I think that's been the hardest part is just trying to wrangle my, my sleeping habits back into place because I have gotten so, so bad in terms of sleeping habits over the course of COVID, but that is all good I'm definitely having a heck of a time it's super cool working on a a tangible product here and so i'm looking forward to uh the rest of the week and whatever else is in store as i move forward here let's put our yak up in front shall we okie dokie and actually i complain about the sleep schedule but i feel like the per person slash <laughs> Living entity that has it worse off is probably my dog. Super confused <laughs> for why I'm gone all day. Usually I'm the one that just sits at home on my computer all day doing absolutely nothing. She can drop by whenever whenever she feels an inkling. But it makes me feel super loved when I get home from work. As selfish as that may be. And you know you gotta cucumber up your yak. We've been here before and there's only one way to go about it. No ifs, ands, or buts. We'll see how that goes. Toad woodpecker. Oh, we did have some woodpeckers. And was there even a toad there? <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. One of these days I'll remember safe at all. I'll be on the ball. <laughs> Just not today, unfortunately. But okie dokie, do we keep rolling or do I just like heavy broccoli on the yak? Give it some ridiculous health. <laughs> I guess with the cucumber, it breaks even, so it's still worth it to to pop these on. I would like to get level 2 yak, though. I uh, don't know. You can't help it. You just got to keep feeding your yak at the end of the day. Might not be the most strategically prominent move, the best move going forward, but who am I to say no? Look at it licking its lips like that. Freaking adorable. Woodpeckers are strong everywhere else, so let's just hope we have enough power to go through. In fact, this is the same team we just bought, or at least very similar, and unfortunately, they had a better round than I did in the shops there. But we'll we'll catch up. Is it too late for a cassowary? We could try to make up ground on the toad woodpecker, hope that we see a woodpecker show up. Hmm. Swap. Attack and health of a pet on our yak would be an interesting move that I don't think I'm too fond of. What about you, Cassowary? How are we feeling? I guess we could get rid of our iguana, or do we just combine our hummingbirds? We'll get one less buff, one less buff, I should say, on our seahorse, but that's probably fine at the end of the day, right? Let's go nuts. I have no idea what I'm doing anyway. We're all just fumbling in the dark trying to find our place in this cold, dark world we live in. So we'll give it a shot. Sure, I'll even upgrade my, my iguana. As for the seahorse, I guess they are currently our strawberry carry here. Do I keep them around? No real harm in doing so. If we had pills, I'd like to throw doves in there. In fact, I've gotta gotta remember, I actually spent a little while after our stream last week going through and making a couple custom decks. Maybe we'll have some time to fool around with those today. Definitely learned some lessons just from the the initial foray into the field, because I thought that you could do super focused decks. Like I want nothing but strawberries, but of course you need to fill out all the slots. 
So you end up having to do some mixing and matching. I made, I think, two different decks. One that was all scaling and various food abilities. I think that one has the strawberry. And then I made a, a white weenies that's all summoning and potentially... Was it death triggers? I forget what secondary I ended up going for there. But I kind of like that better because you have to pick at least two and you usually throw in some just best in class um, animals as you make your way. In fact, I even have a list here beside me of future sap decks I want to make. I want to do uh, Growing Pains. That's a scaling slash hurt trigger build. And hurts so good, which is going to be my hurt trigger and, uh, and faint build. So someday we'll have to fool around and, and dive deep into those and see what kind of silliness will ensue. Oh gosh, I just keep rolling. I'm so deep. It would have been so much better if we had an Okapi out there. Something, anything, really. Um, screw it. Again, flying by the seat of the pants. There's no time to make valid decisions. You just gotta go, go, go. See what happens. In fact, we could get rid of hummingbird i know it's late we kind of ignored multiple woodpeckers but it's never too late at the end of the day here as i say as we're at lethal amounts of hit points it's never too late to completely revamp your team and change everything right let's do it just for the fun of it all see what happens um, Iguana, we probably won't keep leveling up. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the end for us. I don't think we were quite scaling with enough efficacy here, but never say never, because we generally don't have it. <laughs> Had to change my usual catchphrase, because I realized I actually say never a decent amount on stream. Yep, that looked about right. Going into that, seeing multiple double digit stats but hey that was just the warm-up game that's getting off of the bad mojo making sure we're relaxing into our evening nice and slow and it's going to be a steady build up until we're just absolutely pulverizing these cute little animals every left right and center so let's see what happens do i do i dare go and see horse again I was hoping for the the dream, like double hummingbird, strawberry, and I guess seahorse or iguana is not bad for stats, not too shabby. Let's let's grab our seahorse friend here. No strawberries for me, at least not yet. Double seahorse and duckling or kiwi. Let's go duckling up at the front. These so oh, decent air. Apparently not. It all went through. I don't see what you were complaining about, Super Auto Pets. Seems, seems fine on my machine. Let's see. Shy, slippery, and improper. Ooh, no alliteration here. Fungi, ghosts, and fossils. Shy fossils, you know, you have to work really hard to uncover their secrets because they're just trying to hide themselves away under the ground. Could be slippery fungi. I mean, is there any other kind for the most part? Improper ghosts, shy ghosts. Yeah, some shy guy action, exactly. Shy fun guy. Hey, that's that's me. I'm a shy fun guy. Let's go for it. Shy fun guy. At least that's what I aspire to be, even though maybe less on the shy front. I try my best to to force myself to be outgoing. I'm trying to remember one of a professor I had recently had a good way of putting it where so many people out there are naturally introverted, but they're trained extroverts because they've, you know, been forced to put themselves out there so much that they've just kind of grown accustomed to it. But it's where you generally, you know, you get your best recharge time alone. And at the end of the day, as much as we like to simplify with labels like that, usually it's a bit more of a, a mixed bag across the board. Sometimes you're feeling like a, can take on the world and other times you definitely prefer that that extra little bit of recharge time you're the world's best fake extrovert exactly yeah no there are there are dozens of us out there but i feel the same way i grew up in a family that was super social and my parents were very much about like uh 
putting yourselves out there and you know always making sure you show up for company what have you which i'm i'm very grateful for because i i very much enjoy being able to talk with people and i mean even doing this on stream kind of putting myself out there i i have a lot of fun with but at the end of the day i do some of my best personal personal work when i'm just alone in a dark space <laughs> It's a nice blend, and it's the best of both worlds at the end of the day. At least for me personally. Okie dokie, what the heck am I even doing here? We got our triple seahorse going on. In fact, I was going to potentially combine these. I still might, especially with the jellyfish in shop, but it's slightly tempting to go one more round because I still don't know if multi seahorse actually benefits iguana it seems like it should like each time they move can jellyfish ever work it's a little too slow i think you need something else like a jellyfish with a strawberry on it maybe with like some shoe bills in the back and the shoe bills come pretty far down the line in terms of tier level but i could definitely see it working and you just take their level up as a slight bonus it's kind of like how fish used to be only, I guess, in this case, you have the same stats as old fish on a tier 2 animal. So maybe it's kind of trash. But hey, let's find out together, shall we? <laughs> I can't help it. It's so cute. How can I turn it down? Wonderful shades of baby blue and this lovely pink. I mean, who am I to turn down a jellyfish? It's actually one of my... Uh... I wouldn't say greatest regrets in life, but something that's just like an, oh, that's too bad, is when I was young, I got stung by a jellyfish and it wrapped all the way around my arm in spirals. And so for, I think it was a couple weeks, I had the coolest scars that kind of raised skin circling around my arm. Pretty much the type of design that I feel people would get scarification done for. But unfortunately, I was too young, so it just, it all went away. Dang, me and my superhuman healing abilities. Dang. Unfortunately. But hey. That's all good. I'm just somebody who is always super fascinated by scars. I find scars super cool. Not so much that I ever would have given myself one as a kid. I was a, a coward through and through. But not that that's an endorsement to do so. Because in general... You'll gain scars naturally as you go up, and I find that the coolest part about scars are the stories. So you kind of want it to happen naturally and just see, see what happens in life. And it's usually a, a fun thing. Do I go with iguanas? I guess we want as many level ups as we can. I'm determined now. Now that the jellyfish has been called into question, not on my watch. I'm going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at this until I find a way to make this jellyfish shine, baby. Early toad? Isn't horrible. I guess I'd have to get rid of my, my okapi. It's not too bad at the end of the day here. Enemy hurt. I'm curious if the toad dies as they attack something. Does that count? So I'm tempted to sell Okapi and put Toad in slot two here. Both my three attack buddies can kind of smack that brick wall a couple of times. See what happens. How are you feeling, Okapi? Again, you're one of my favorite animals in here. I will stress, and it cannot be stressed enough, even though we probably talked it to death last week. Neck's a little short. I want my forest giraffes to be to be lean and long, but hey, you can't always get what you want. They wrote an entire song about it. Let's try it out, shall we? We'll buy you... Do I go for the level 3 iguana? It's one of those things that I feel like has a better spot. That's quite the noise. Excuse you. What did you do? Step on a frog? Um, Iguana, though, I feel like it could work a lot better in, like, custom packs or maybe the weekly roundup because there aren't too many summon builds that you can really do. I guess they kill ants, 
So single anteater validates all my decisions in life. That's kind of nice. Oh. And okay, you can put a frog in the front of your team and no swap happens. Interesting. So it's not necessarily a, a death sentence if you throw in the, the frog early on. You can always just kind of fake it. Interesting. Oh, I also accidentally buffed up you too. I guess we're happy with that. That's just the way it's got to be. And we're going to go for the level 3 iguana. Because why the heck not? Don't really know why we would, but hey. At the end of the day, it do be what it do be. Let's throw you in there and... Ooh. Do we make praying mantis work? I still haven't had the opportunity, the pleasure to try out a praying mantis. Got to be careful for sure, but I, I could definitely see it working. We got it super early. Unfortunately, we can't afford it this round, but maybe, just maybe, next round we can sell off something. <laughs> and I refuse to let it be my jellyfish. It's a matter of pride, a matter of principle now. I never go back. We'll see what happens. I mean, this is definitely a team we can beat. 10 health on your iguana? How? Is that like just feeding them peaches up the wazoo? Maybe? Huh. Oh, but toad iguana kind of slaps. It's similar to the, the toad woodpecker style. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Then what can we do here? I kind of want to get rid of the pill bug, but we could get rid of the pill bug after this next round because then we at least get one final boost from it. The question is, is there any way I can make it worth it while well, like killing it off with a praying mantis? And I'm not so sure if I can. Hmm. We'd have to sell our toad. Put Pillbug here, Mantis behind, in which case we're wasting one of the stacks from the Pillbug. But we're jump-starting our Praying Mantis, giving it a bit of a running start. So that seems alright. Do I keep leveling up the rest of my squad? Do I really want you two for the rest of all time? My gut says no. But my body's telling me yes. Um, I'm trying to remember what tier is woodpecker? Is woodpecker a a three B, or is it a four star? Four star review. That might just have to wait for yet another time, because we're gonna do something a little bit weird here. Let's just go nuts, shall we? Round one. That's a cute little sound, you son of a gun. You can't do that. We we just made up our minds. We'd have to sell Seahorse. And something else for some crappy stats. We do get the double weakness out of it. The Woodpecker hits above their weight class, which is nice. Like, that's an 8 damage. That's essentially better stats than the Praying Mantis off the rip. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite have the scaling capabilities, but it is what it is. Do I dare be gone with the seahorse? I don't know if we could do Toad Woodpecker, but we've been, we've been told such great things. How could I possibly refuse? It would be, it'd be rude. But at the same time, I can't sell my jellyfish. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in a dilemma of enormous proportions. How is one man supposed to make up their mind about such a huge amount of information to digest? <laughs> so many contradictive directives. I feel like I'm starting to understand Isaac Asimov's books a little bit more now. What do you do when all your directives conflict? Panic? freak out <laughs> that's all i can do right now unfortunately with praying mantis we have too much murder going on i don't think i can afford it so i'm so sorry once more here 
apologies go out to most especially Seyfed. I failed you once again, and this time, it's an act of decision. It stings just to say it out loud, the betrayal. And yet here we are. Sometimes you have to become what you, what you hate most in the world, just to save a jellyfish life. Do I want to cube something up, though? I could throw it on our, our Mantis. I guess that's probably a pretty solid get here early on. Also, if you kill the Pillbug before they upgrade you, then, I mean, I'm not going to do anything about it, but I won't be happy. I will be severely disappointed in you. And isn't that worse than angry? I think we can all agree to that. Minus one attack for extra health. Oh, I was wondering how they had a 110 iguana. It's probably some broccoli thrown in there if I had to guess. Because they had that super early on. But regardless, I guess I should try to focus for at least a brief moment here. Hmm. No leech for me. Right, I can actually do faint effects now. So I gotta, I gotta be on the lookout. Gotta be eagle-eyed. Any faint effects we see. It's one of the few times that that can pop off. I guess I could throw broccoli on the mantis as well. I was mixing up broccoli for the shrimp. But this is, just kind of evens out their stats a bit. Sure. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're all just fumbling and flailing in the dark here. Why not say it with our chest then? If that's going to be the case regardless. Oh gosh, 514... The double oh my gosh they have a level three guinea pig already up and up on the way incredible stuff and hey i'll take a tie i'll definitely take a tie with a score like these who needs an enemies you know you know what i'm saying i've never really thought about it until now but i've always been a fan of uh oh what are they called malifors where you take idioms and you mix them, you jumble them up with one another. My favorite, or maybe not my favorite, but the most commonly used one is let's burn that bridge when we get there. And it definitely also tickles the same fancy deep in my bones to have the... Uh... Ooh, I have no strawberry friends, but that's exactly what I was hoping for. But to do a similar thing with jokes... <laughs> Mix up the the setup and the punchline for jokes wherever you want. <laughs> McFly, why don't you make like a tree and beat it like you do? Just like trees do all the time. You, you know exactly what they're going for there. Do I dare? I need something to feed to this praying mantis. They're, they're rabbit. They're vapid. They're out of control, really, at the end of the day. I just need some level of appeasement. Please, my my son. And what better way to let loose the dogs of war than murder a symbol of peace? It doesn't get much better than that. Better? Do I really think that that's better? <laughs> I don't know about that. But it is something. And when you're desperate, you'll go for anything. Let's throw some cheese on our iguana. A bit of a cheesy iguana strat. Never, never too big for that. Should have all said hello, Dr. Pirate. I hope your Wednesday is going well. And I don't even know if I gave everyone. I'm not great at remembering to give my welcomes to people, even though I always want to, because I, I always appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. How the heck does this son of a gun have a 2020 iguana? Riddle me that. That is incredible, my friend. Were you going to share with the rest of the class, or, or what? Um, let's see. Unfortunately, we didn't get any strawberries, so that dove was literally murdered for pretty much no reason, except as a symbolic gesture to, uh, to destroy any all potential olive branches that may or may not have been levied our way in the future. Do I dare? Let's go for it. Why the heck not? We could throw a panda here. Thanks at the start of battle. Buffs you up a wee bit, just a smidge. It's not horrible. 
Let's at least buy you. We can always change our mind in the future. One of these days, we've got to get a starfish build going as well. We'll just keep kicking that can down the road. One of these days, I'm going to get a boat. I will take a, a good old zebra. And... Kind of could take an anteater. An anteater gives me a buffer space of two rounds with the mantis. Mantis will kill the anteater, replace it with an ant, which we can then keep around, go through one more, and that will buff up someone on our team. That seems kind of nice. So, right, you apparently have a chest infection? Oh no, that sucks. I'm really sorry about that, Dr. Power. You thought it was allergies because the pollen was bad, but Tuesday, or it was bad Tuesday, but by the evening you clearly had fever and aches. Fever broke after early afternoon today though and you're feeling better well i'm glad you're feeling better i'm sorry to hear about the the chest infection in general it can definitely be a rough ride but i hope yeah it's all all cleared up now for sure is this the lair we work rework it looks interesting exactly you know iguanas i mean that's something we see in lair they're adding in the new uh the new sea meta to lair with the jellyfish and the seahorse apparently Look, we saw a cane toad on the other team. It just works. It's a perfect analogy. It's the new, the new DCSS graphics to make it more approachable for the general public. Everyone loves their emojis, and it was about time the DCSS caught on board as well. Oh gosh, everything's going to you, hey Iggy? Welp? I mean... Do we... Do we just buy out the whole shop here? I'll take one of everything, please. And this? That seems all right. This is the new Okawaru Arena. Yeah, you get to, instead of a 1v1 fight, you instead narrow it down to a five, I guess narrow it down from a 1v1? That doesn't make sense. Regardless, you make it a five versus five, just the way that God intended. Oh gosh, that, Clownfish was nuts. That was out of control. Is it, how's everyone gone so good at the game? Why am I so far behind? Riddle me this. Besides, like, you know, the obvious. <laughs> Which is, I don't really play very often, and I, I've never been the greatest. Only the one who had the most fun. Hell yeah, brother. Oh gosh, nothing but seahorses. Apparently I should have committed long ago. But I'm in too deep. When you're this deep, you just gotta keep digging. Level six, Spinosaurus. You seen what I'm seeing here? A little bit of Spinomantis action. We get rid of you, friend. Sorry to to have you go. Bring out a Spinosaurus, and now we just gotta keep filling this slot. And if we survive, which is unlikely. I'll be the first to admit, but possible. We'll be rolling in the cash here. It'll be wonderful, beautiful, and everything in between, which probably isn't a lot because those were both positive. Horrifying and beautiful and everything in between might have been a bit better of a phrase. How did they make jellyfish work? My jellyfish didn't work. What the heck is even that? Well, we're on the cusp. We just needed a few more turns, just one more run. But hey, it is what it is. So let's just get ready to hop into another one, shall we?